Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the art of the undercut here in Escape from Tarkov, more specifically in the Escape from Tarkov flea market. Guys, do me a favor, man. Make sure you're dropping a like on this video. And of course, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Let's hop into this one here today. So what are we talking about more specifically? Well, it is the fact that every single person undercuts every single person. And understandably, there's a ton of people on Escape from Tarkov. They want to get their shit sold. They only have two slots in their offer slot. So they want to make sure nothing gets stuck in their offer slot. So it makes sense. But we're going to talk about another thing here today. And that's going to be cutoff points. I try to talk about this in my Market Watch series where we go over a bunch of different items. And we will see where that cutoff point is. Where is the high price and where is the cut? And basically that cut is where people undercut and that is your cutoff price. Basically, if you have a large cutoff, you can actually list way, way above the current asking price of an item. So we're just going to go through the wish list, look at some of the more expensive items, and we'll talk about some of the undercutting and some of the cutoff points. I just want to find an example of a cutoff point here. I know we'll find one. All right, so here's a pretty good example. We have the fuel conditioner. We just talked about this in a recent video about bartering for your fuel we have a cutoff point of 59,000. So if I wanted to, I could take a fuel conditioner right now and list it for 58,999 and it would probably sell. Why is that? Well, it's because Wheels and Zeus both undercut the current price on the market, but there's not enough supply right now to make those prices a firm stable price so basically the 52,000 and the 54,000 should sell and the price should recalibrate up to about 58 to 59,000 rubles now there is a chance that somebody sees the 52 or 54 and undercuts that price so it could keep that cutoff point right here uh it could keep it in play a little bit longer but to be honest with you i kind of doubt it so we're gonna do a refresh here this is all live so i have no idea what's about to happen it's either gonna be an undercut or it's gonna be selling for 58,000 so we have undercuts once again you can see the new cutoff point 54,000 to 59,000 but now you have guys undercutting to a point where it's 49,000 10k under what they could probably get for fuel conditioner let's do another refresh you can see how bad the undercut gets 41,000 rubles down from 58,000 it is absolutely insane let me see if i have a fuel conditioner just so i can prove to you that a 58,000 will sell all right, so I do have a fuel conditioner. That's pretty lucky. We're going to hop in. Let's see what we're at. All right, you can literally already see that the cutoff point has moved even more. You get like 39,000. What are these guys doing? What we're going to do is we're going to list at the same price I was talking about. 58,999. That is right here on the flea market, okay? Let's list at that. So we got our fuel conditioner. 58,997. I like to put that seven on there for good luck, baby. We've got a 5k fee, but we're not really worried about the fee. It's basically the concept I'm trying to show you. So that is listed on the flea market. We are way down here, right? But we still have the cutoff point in play. 58, 55, 49. More specifically, 63, 58, or 59. And then you have 55 to 56. And then you have the cutoff down to 50. So you can see that fuel conditioner right now has absolutely tanked but the thing is my fuel conditioner is still going to sell here in just a couple of minutes you can already see how much higher i am on the list people that are going to do that fuel barter people that need fuel conditioners for whatever reason they are going to eventually get bought up and mine is going to be purchased and these guys selling at thirty-eight thousand, they are losing a shit ton of money and this is one item out of thousands of items in the escape from tarkov flea market this is the cutoff point that i wanted to talk about but also the volatility of people undercutting and how much money they're really losing. They are desperate to get that cash. They are desperate to free up that slot. And I get it. If you have a lot of things you just brought out of raid, you have to free up those slots. You got to free up that stash space. So for example, the art of undercutting is basically taking any item in the game and just listing it lower or at an attractive price. So I say it like that for a reason. Let's check out these uh, ODs right here, these AFGs. You can see that there's one out there for 45,000 rubles, right? So would I undercut at 44,000? Would I undercut at 39,000, 35, 30? My fuel conditioner just sold. That's exactly what I'm talking about. It's been a minute. I, there was no cuts there. There might have been one cut uh, when I switched to the AFG, but that's it. I mean, 
you can see it's bought we got the full price for it that is exactly what i wanted to show you when it comes to the undercutting and the cutoff point i mean you can see it has already recorrected back to normal and it was just a very volatile moment and a lot of people undercutting a lot of other people at the same exact time that's basically the art of undercutting but you're losing a lot of money and that's kind of the point that i'm trying to make here is that you are losing so much by undercutting incorrectly if you're not undercutting at a correct price then you're not really getting any advantage at all when you could wait 30 more seconds and go ahead and grab yourself an extra 10 15 20k i mean it's just one item as an example so back to the afg what would i undercut at so you can see somebody undercut the guy from 45 down to 40 but the 45 sold that was just really bad timing on Cheeky Peaky. I mean, to be honest, 40K is a great undercut price, but now what would I undercut at? Would I undercut at 39,000? Mm, maybe, but what if that gets undercut? What if this price, somebody undercuts at 35? I don't want that. So I'd probably undercut even lower. And you can see exactly what happened, how volatile undercutting really gets especially with expensive items he went from 40k somebody undercut just a little bit and this is probably an appropriate amount but somebody swooped in with the 25k bomb and if you know more undercutting happens this guy right here who had the cheapest price on the market he is going to be sitting there for a while and these afgs you know that one moved that top one that was a little bit cheaper than the 25 i'd say right now is a great time to list it for 24,999 because you see some more attractive prices on the market now you have somebody listing at 23 you have another one at 23 he listed two of them so now 100 this 40k is a garbage price but we just saw one sell for 45,000. that is the art of undercutting because you have to really time it it's it's honestly a skill at this point in the tarkov flea market to capitalize the most on other people man but it's just crazy we took a look at two items extremely volatile i showed you both examples just in the two items i mean i can't really script that i mean that, that is perfect for what i'm trying to portray here um so you know one more thing on the tail end here how do you undercut basically you just go to an item see what it's selling for if it looks like an absurd amount then just sell it for lower so the cobra tactical foregrip what would i sell this at you can see the lowest price now is already in the matter of seconds down to 21k so i probably listed at 19,999. if we do another example uh let's just go to the pws here you can see the lowest one is 8,888. i'm probably selling for 7,777. just something like that something quick something easy and uh you know a qdc lowest ones at 10k you know 61 is probably going to be about 8,000 rubles so maybe 9,990 something like that not 99 because that's what the next person's probably going to do so there's a ton of different examples the art of undercutting is something truly special here in the tarkov flea market it is a dog eat dog world here in tarkov and um you know at the end of the day nobody gives a fuck about you and what you're selling as long as they are selling their shit and you're not selling your shit so you know it's an interesting dynamic that we have in our tarkov flea market but i personally love it because it makes so much opportunity for you especially all the people who love rap money and uh that series so we have a lot of potential in the flea market and i try to take advantage of it the most and give you guys all the knowledge and everything and you know fuel conditioner and the afg were just two examples but i think they portray what i was trying to say perfectly you know maybe it was a little jumpy all over the place and i got distracted at certain points because we sold the fuel conditioner yada yada but if you have any questions just drop them down in the comments me or somebody else who really does understand the flea market like myself can answer you down in the comment section i think it's gonna be it for today though make sure you guys are dropping that like and subscribing to the channel sponsored equipment description below it's gonna be it for me thanks for stopping by i'm out